All right, so today we have the FS Engineering carbon front splitter and under tray that we're gonna be installing on Chris's 370Z. Um, we're also gonna be doing a set of Sparco seats. And um, so we're gonna show you, um, you know, the installation and uh, the before and after and how it looks. Um, so far out the box, it looks like a really good quality product. Um, I like the way it looks. Uh, I like the quality of the carbon and um, I'm excited to see it on. How do you think it looks now? Uh, I look like it needs something on the front end. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, not the, not the biggest fan of the stock front bumpers um, on the 12 pluses because uh, they, they changed the style of the front bumper and they kind of made it a little bit more rounded here. So, yeah. Yeah, this will be way more aggressive. Yeah, it'll definitely make it look a lot more aggressive. Got the slotted Cybin carbon fiber hood, mm -hmm. um, which fits very nicely. And I'll show you that a little bit later. And uh, the wing as well, which already has been installed. So, good. That's my cue. All right, I'll show you the beer then. So, this is pretty painless. Pretty straightforward. Looks really cool. I'm excited to see it on the ground, yeah. You want me to adjust these? Good. Oh, he's gonna like that. That looks way better. Holy cow. I'm excited to get it outside so we can really see the carbon because we have horrible light in here because of the little sun out. But we got the hood too. This hood is really nice. Siphon. Oh yeah. Just waiting for the other hood pen to arrive. Because only one was sent. But that looks so good.
Barco reclinable seats. They actually look pretty comfortable. We'll see once they're installed. <laughs> Edgar over here ripping the old seats out. Smooth move. Recliners <laughs> have a duty spring. Yeah. So today we're wrapping up Chris's 370. Popping these two bad boys in here. Sparko. Reclining. Slidable. Leather. Seats. And You're gonna go in here. All the room. Oh, actually, going in right now. What kind of hardware are you going to use? Stock. Oh, the stock hardware? Yeah. Is that what's over here? Huh? Is that what's over here? Yeah. Yeah, they're special, special size bolt. It's like uh, M11 by 125. So, you know, factory stuff bolts right up, so. Stick the stock stuff in. Oh, there we go. Sliding. Nice. Do you need to put any lube in there? No, they come pre lubed. That's why my hands are all greased up. Nice. These bolts tighten up. Oh wow, they said hi. Those seats. Yeah, the stacks are pretty tall because they don't have uh, they don't have like a, a separate headrest. Yeah. It's all one piece. Yeah, so let's see. Oh, it slides nice. That's what I see. <laughs> passengers ready. Ghost passengers ready. <laughs> Close the door by himself. Alright. One down. Let's get the other one put in. Oh yeah, and you're gonna do the wheel spacers. These are what, 30 millimeter? Yeah. 30 or 25? 30, I think. These are bolt-on. Yeah. I mean, you can really see the difference yeah. in the gap. Like if you just like look from this angle. Mm -hmm. They like tuck in before you can't see them. And then here, boop. Yeah, it makes it just look so much wider. Man, this car's looking good. Mm -hmm. We got the uh, new Sybin carbon fiber hood in with both hood pins. Bing, bing. Yeah. Not just one. Um, the new lip splitter. Yeah, really, yeah, really cool. Carbon fiber. Actually, it's low. Hmm? Three inches off the ground. Mm-hmm. New uh, Sparko seats in. Look good. 
the little wing on the back. Is it so pretty? Yeah, it's a big change. Carabanfada. All right, you want to talk about these surface? Carabanfada. Um, so we have the uh, H and R uh, bolt-on hub-centric wheel spacers. Um, as you can see, why this car needed them, the wheel fitment, the wheels were kind of sunken in a little bit. Um, once we installed the coilovers and lowered the car, you know, it kind of revealed that a little more. So, um, I believe these are 30, uh, 30 mil, um, like I said, bolt-on, hub-centric, uh, made in Germany, and uh, they fit really well. And as you can see in Germany, that's fucking work. So, uh, care of the lug nuts they supply. These are direct bolt on for this chassis. So M12 by 125 on both the receiving and the stud end. Uh, like I said, fully hub centric. So hub centric to the car. And then it's also got the male end to for its hub centric to the wheel. So this ain't no floating bullshit that's gonna be unsafe, not gonna be fully centered, gonna give you some jiggle in the wheel. Um, so they work very well and uh, make the car look great. Um, as you can as see. As you can see. <laughs> All right, cool. And then this down ready. Need to give it a quick wash on. Yeah, this hood looks so good. got the, uh, the vents and then it's got, but they're painted black. <laughs> yeah, cute. Look good. I'll grab some footage of the sucker outside so we can really see the carbon and uh, the fitment and obviously drivability and all that stuff will be checked before handing it back off to our customer. Yeah. Yeah, Chris will be back later on today to come scoop it up. Yeah. So, yeah. he should be happy. I'm happy with a cheap. All right. All right. That's a wrap.